Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 6, Football Manager. We're home on the range, Rovers, at Forest Green. So after last episode where we stubbed our toe against Petersboro, uh, we did draw with Scunthorpe, 1-1. Aaron Collins with an early goal. Matt Mills, our captain, was sent off, or not our captain, but our most veteran player, uh, was sent off with a straight red card in the 72nd minute. Uh, Northampton, we beat 3-1. Elliot Freer from the left wing. Odin Bailey, he's a he's a lone uh, striker, and I think we've got news on him. Uh, we've returned, uh, we, we got a brace from him, including a 94th minute stoppage time, uh, just to salt the game away. Uh, Swindon took us out 1-0. Eb Ebu Adams uh, was sent off in the 80th minute, and they scored the winner in the 92nd minute. We really dominated the game, just couldn't find the net. Stevenage with a 3-0 win over them. Elliot Freer found goal again. Junior Mondal got some playing time. He scored off the bench, as did Dale Grubb in the 83rd minute. Macclesfield, we settled for a 0-0 draw and a 65th minute sending off by Liam Kitching straight red card. Uh, so yeah, we've been a little, uh, we've had some bad boys on the team here recently. I went ahead and played the Exeter game. We beat them 5-1. Sean Mikulski, I gave him a start. Now, she wasn't, you know, and this was because we're into the transfer window, right? So he got a little playing time and he had a hat trick. Very nice. Uh, Farron Rawson, uh, 24th minute goal and Matt Mills with an 87th minute goal. So currently in the competition, uh, we've been knocked out in the second round, which is what we were expected to reach. So they were happy with that. Uh, we were knocked out in the first round of the Carabao Cup by West Brom. They weren't really upset. They wanted us to reach the second round, but it was a higher rated club. And we have reached the third round to take on Barnsley in the FA Cup. We're currently sitting fourth in the table, one point out of automatic promotion, where Crawley currently sits. Use your words. And uh, so we're playing well. Two points in front of Colchester, and we have opened up, uh, what's that, a six point gap over Mansfield with uh, to fall out of the playoff positions. Uh, down in the bottom here, uh, Cambridge in the relegation stage at 20. Northampton really the only team close to them at 22. Uh, just in case you guys are wondering, we'll take a look at the Premier League, uh, how they're doing. Did I screw something up there? Premier Oh, I forgot to click on it. I just hit enter. All right, so 21 games in. It's Man City with a narrow one-point lead over Liverpool. Uh, so let's see. That's what's going on there. Uh, if you're curious, you can look at the player stats over here. And if you guys do want to see this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. If there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Uh, Fulham, West Brom. And leads in the playoff spots uh, just after the midway point of the season. Mitrovic leading the way in goals. Mateus Klitsch with assists. I tell you what, Leeds doesn't get a lot of love in this game. They just don't. <laughs> they just don't. Let's see. Uh, we can look at... There we go. All right, so Jack Harrison with seven goals, Helder Costa with six, Klitschy with six, Big Big Kev with five. I I'm not buying that for a second. And Bamford relegated to the bench, which never happens in real life. Uh, he is currently on five as well in five starts and 14 relief appearances. So. Uh, for those Leeds fans that were sure that Big Kev was going to be the answer and that Patrick was all the problems, uh, looks like, uh, I don't know, looks pretty even to me. Oh, well. Anyway, let's take a look at our transfers. And we have offered, is that for us? Yeah. Oh, we're looking to hire a new assistant coach. Our old assistant got hired away. I didn't know we had anybody qualified enough, but 
Didn't I have? Yeah, we're January 1st. Nothing, nothing. Okay, I haven't done any transfer business. I mixed that up with my other, uh, my solo save. Okay, well, nothing going on then. Oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. Um, loan deals. One of our guys, one, two, three, four. I thought we, I thought we canceled the loan on one of these guys. Is it Giovanni Brown? No, maybe. Okay, we might terminate his loan. This is, I think this is the guy we were thinking about terminating his loan. He, he plays a number 10, and I don't use one. He's not one of my top strikers. He's not one of my top wingers or midfielders. Yeah, let's go ahead and terminate his loan. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Were we paying anything to him? No, we're not paying anything, so it doesn't hurt us to have him. Only thing would be is if we can... If we can maybe get another loan. Yeah, I'm going to terminate his loan. Cool. All right, so that was that was what I was going to do. Oh, well. That was convoluted. Pay attention. All right, so we're back to play Barnsley in the FA Cup third round, and we will play Crawley currently just in front of us. So that's a key matchup in the league. So let's get to that. All right, we are underdogs here. Tell you what, I'm going to stick with this one, but I'm going to drop back to balanced. Oh, and I don't have an assistant manager. I know we're the underdogs here. Um, I don't do this too often, but let's give them the green speech. All right, early days, early hours, get creative. As soon as I said that, they got a shot on goal. We've had three shots, two on target. Really handling the, I'm going to go up to positive because we're handling the possession. Uh, let's push forward. Ooh, they didn't like that. nothing we're gonna go the whole half with no highlights all right we've been dominant in this one dominic bernard has lost possession more than any other player collins has won back possession bernard has been impressive at breaking into the final third all right um let's go passionate we were the better team All right, I'm going to ask for some early creativity. Looks like we had a foul. Winchester, is it going to be a yellow or a red? I did not see what happened. Just a warning? Okay. All right, Alex Mowat. Uh, did you see that? He took the, he took the kick before any, anybody was ready. Oh, what a scum. Oh, we had a tip in there, and it just gets saved by the keeper. He dropped the ball, so it looks like there was probably an offsides call. Uh, let's... Ooh, is that Alpo Halme? I bet that is. That's a former Leeds player. All right, come on, boys. Clamp down on the Bastions. Plays it all the way back. Oh, nice little touch on the overlap. Bernard. Oh, what a layoff to Grub. And he cannot find the angle. All right, let's see. Anybody playing really bad? We're not getting much out of Collins. Tell you what, I'm going to move... Atchison's a right footer. Let's move. Let's swap them. Let's swap them. All right. Grub. 
Back for Adams, Adams for Davis, Grubb for Stokes. All right, show some passion. And they get the kick highlight. Mowat, I believe, is a former Leeds player, too. Oh, hello, off the bar. Oh, nice header there. All right, let's look at another subage here. Bernard. Bernard's been playing well. Uh, Collins. You know what? Let's bring Mikulski on. Oh, come on. Boy, Moa has been in the highlights all game. And that's one of those set piece. No, that's just unlucky. And I don't know that there's anything you can do on set pieces. I, I just, you know. All right, into the box. McGinley. There's a cross and a header. Elliot Freer from the left wing gets the header. His third of the season. Chris Stoke just onto the pitch with the assist. Liking that. Liking that. Let's demand more. All right, we got one more sub. Winchester, can you dribble? You can. I'm going to drop you back for Winchester. And then I am going to bring on Josh Marsh. March. Yeah, let's do that. All right. We're gonna go up to attacking because we're 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 dominating this game statistically. All right, let's give a, a shout to uh, push forward. They don't like that. Bernard into the box, and it trickles in. Josh Marsh, his second of the season. He just came on the pitch, and we're gonna go back to balanced. And also, uh, slow the pace down if you are the goalkeeper. Thank you very much. Confirm the changes. And we have taken a 2-1 lead over Barnsley. I thought there might have been a penalty foul there. Boy, that was, that was about as cheap a goal as the Mowat goal. So I feel vindicated that... Football manager's giving us one back. That's a big win. Big win over Barnsley. I mean, they are in the championship. Granted, they're 24th, but still, still, uh, that was really special. Really special. All right. We'll come back for Crawley Town in just a minute. Hopefully, I have my new assistant manager uh, with me by that time. And uh, we'll introduce you to him, and we'll continue to look and see if we have any transfer news as well. See you guys back here in a second. All right, we are back a day early. Uh, we're going to have the FA Cup fourth round draw. So let's take a look at who we get. Still quite a few League Two sides in here. Yeah, we definitely don't want a premier side if we can avoid that. That would be nice. Oh, so either Sheffield Wednesday or West Brom. I think West Brom's already uh, handled us pretty easily. Uh, yeah, they were the club that knocked us out of the other tournament. That would be fitting, wouldn't it? All right, let's go ahead and finish out. So there's the rest of your draw. If you're interested... So we'll figure that one out. Oh, we have hired a new assistant coach. We'll, took, uh, we'll take a look at him in just a second. Let's go ahead and get up. I've scouted some younger players, and we've got, uh, you know, ooh, a lot of guys in the team of the week. That looks nice. All right, there's our fitness test. So let's take a look at our new assistant coach. His name is Paul Millar. 
Now, I don't, I'm not one that remembers a lot of names uh, as far as like assistant managers and players that I had on FM 17 and a save. I don't remember any of that. There's, there's a handful of guys that I, that like stand out. Uh, Amin Guiri is, is one of the names that stands out from, I think it was my FM 18 save. But anyway, uh, Millard, knowledge of England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Uh, man management, little on the low side, but what I really wanted was his player ability and player potential judgment. Uh, so he is now the best player ability judgment on my staff. So, you know, when we're doing the roster selections and whatnot and looking at the team report for, for ranking players, that helps us out. He's 53 years old. Uh, he is our assistant coach. Uh, he comes to us from Glen Torren, where he's been for, uh, one season and start of a second season here. Uh, he was in a he, he was a head coach uh, at Glen Torn. Went back as an assistant. That's that's odd. Uh, Newry was a was a coach and then he was a player for Ballymena United, Brantwood, Ards, and Banger. Uh, actually played in the Cardiff system. Looks like he came up in the Glen Torren system and then was moved around. So. Uh, he's our new guy. There he is. And uh, let's see. Any Nothing going on in the transfers yet. Um, I did make, I did want to put a bid in for a loan. Uh, player wouldn't talk to me. Wanted, or the team wouldn't, wouldn't accept it. Wanted him to play with higher level players. And I was like, wow. Isn't that special? All right. Well, we're playing Crawley here. They are third in the table. We are fourth uh, we can actually leap over them with a win here so this is a crucial crucial game for us they're in strong form we're inconsistent yeah that might be a little harsh but uh, one draw between us and I am gonna go we're gonna start off positive here all right, we're going to go with Collins up top, Aitchison and Hall on the wings, James, Grubb, Bernard in the central in the mid, Davis, Shepard on the back wings, Stokes and Mills in the center, center backs, Smith in goal, and you notice uh, some of our guys are not there. Let's take out the unavailable. Liam Kitching on suspension, and uh, I think he was suspended for, yeah, just the next match right now. Uh, McGinley, why can't you play? You're at 88%, so this is a resting moment. Winchester, Adams, they both need some rest, as does Dawson. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Trying to rest a few guys, and that is okay. That does happen. As always, we only have six subs because of the homegrown situation a uh, little bit of encouragement very good let's get to it boys all right we're controlling possession early that doesn't mean a whole lot of anything now we're on the downside of that so we want to keep tabs on that pretty even as long as we're even i don't mind staying positive all right we do have a corner let's get creative here and Young gets the clearance. Oh, we're going to be off sides there, I think. He was not off sides, and he did not bury that goal. That's, that's not good. We should have scored there. All right, Hall comes out. Another cross, and it looks like we botched that one up. All right, let's take a look tactically here real quick. All right, let's drop our tempo. Let's just do that and see if that gives us a little bit better control and measure when we're when we're playing here. All right. There's a nice drop in pass up to the line. Headed over. I think one of our guys should have gotten a clearance on that ball. All right. You know what? We're going to drop back to balanced because they are starting to control the match. All right, there's a deep throw, Collins, and they have a possible counter situation. Oh, there's a nice poke away. Hall gets to it, holds it up, 
Plays it in, and Collins heads it over the goal. That was unlucky. Some good, some good spark there on the defense. They're playing a flat 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, this is, uh, hmm, Leif Davis has lost more possession. All right, uh, encouragement. Nobody's got cards to worry about yet. Let's get some early creativity. Davis is inspired. He is tired, though. All right, let's go ahead and make him our first sub. Now, Rawson can play right or center. What's his center abilities? Yeah, he can do fine there. All right, so we're going to bring him in for Davis, and then we're going to switch Davis and Sto uh, Rawson and Stokes. And I would like... Mm, Atchison's not playing great today, so let's bring on Elliot Freer for him. See if we can get uh, a spark up here. Oh, good save. Good save by Smith. Their guy just got behind the defender. So, ooh, that was a little lucky. All right, they've got a corner. I'm always nervous for these. Oh, and offsides. Whew, thank goodness. All right. I don't know who was offsides. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, this guy right. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Well, the goal scorer. Yeah, he was offsides by a mile. By a mile. All right. No pressure. There's a header. Does it count? Yes, Collins with his 13th goal of the season. Lloyd James with the assist. Woo! That was lucky. All right, we're uninterested. What? What? Don't do that. All right, let's go. Let's have the pace slow down a little bit with the keeper. All right, uh, let's demand more, and let's make our last sub. Who do I want it to be? Well, I, and, and I think what I'm looking for in this transfer window, we're already up against it. Yeah, one of the things I'm going to want to go after, I believe, with that updated loan is going to be a central mid, somebody that could play center mid and defensive mid. Because that just seems to be where I've got a big hole right now. A big hole. Collins is playing well, but he is tired. Let's bring Mikulski in for him. I want to give him some playing time. He's one of our younger players, so I do want him to play a little bit. All right, that's over the top. Nice ball to Collins. And he beats the keeper 14th of the season. He's got a brace and... I think we're going to have to cancel that or you guys are going to mutiny uh, because I can't pull him off when he's on a hat trick, right? Isn't that the rule? I think that's a rule. Um, so let's look at other alternatives. Can Mondal do a job? He can play out there. He can pass. He's got decent first touch. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I'm going to bring him in for... Um, I'm going to bring him in for Grub, who's on a yellow. Now, that is more of an attacking position, which is more his natural position. So, we will uh, we will do that. That was a nice ball by Hall right over the top. Nice chest down by Collins. Brought it in and then just beats the keeper to the far side. I don't know what the hell that was. All right, we've got a set piece. All right, there's some good movement. Out to Freer. Oh, nice drop in. There's Collins. Lays it into Freer. Oh, he should have buried that one. Still, we're up 2-0. Don't want to get too confident yet. 
All right, that's headed out. Kamara's on it on a break. Got a possible counter here. He's got two guys running, only one defender. And the save, but then Nathaniel George puts it in, but he is determined to be offsides. That is a lucky, lucky break. But, you know, two on one there in the center. Our defender didn't stop anybody. But we will gladly take the 2 0 win. We didn't dominate the game, but, you know, we, we performed well and we made our chances count, right? Uh, appreciate the efforts. Very good job. Uh, let's go to the inbox. Reading and Man United. All right, Collins fires us into the promotion hunt. Collins with two goals, three key headers, superb in front of the goal. And so we do pick up six points in today's episode. FA Cup will be into the fourth round against either Wednesday or Albion. And I think Macclesfield, Carlisle, neither one really are enticing. But those are the games that we should be winning, right, for sure. I think uh, let's go ahead and come back for the fourth round in the FA Cup and Carlisle. We'll come back for that match here uh, next episode. And in the competition, we are up into third position, uh, plus 17 goal differential. So we are looking good as an attacking force. And I really feel good about that since it's a tactic that I, I didn't download. Uh, so that is good. Um, I'm, I'm feeling confident. Um, not cocky because I still realize that I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, but if we take a look here, where were we slated to finish? Yeah, we were slated to go up. I picked this team at random um, in my solo save that I'm just playing on my own. I actually have picked the team that was finished, uh, projected to finish last. So we were slated to finish second. So, you know, we've got a little ground to make up, but as long as we get the automatic promotion, I don't think the board will be too upset. In fact, let's take a look at the vision uh, on course for the payroll. They are currently pleased with uh, the promotion, very pleased with the FA Cup. We did fail the Carabao Cup past the leasing.com trophy. I think that used to be the Johnstown paint or something like that. I don't know. So uh, anyway, and did I sign a new contract? I don't remember. My contract does expire at the end of the year. Uh, it does expire. You know what? Let's uh, let's have a chat. Make a board request. Personal new contract. Yeah. Your excellent record, we grant your request. All right, well, good. They shouldn't have made me wait so long, right? Uh, so uh, we do have a new contract that will be starting out. Uh, we should finish our coaching course. Actually, do I have a new coaching course that I can take? No? Not yet. Not yet. All right. Well, we will uh, we'll take a look at the new contract next episode. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, let me know down below in the comments. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and join button. Much appreciated. And we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.